Eugene Victor Jean Debs November 5, 1855 October 20, 1926 was an American union leader, one of the founding members of the Industrial Workers of the World IWW or the Wobblies, and five times the candidate of the Socialist Party of America for President of the United States three through his presidential candidacies, as well as his work with labor movements. Debs eventually became one of the best-known socialists living in the United States. Early in his political career, Debs was a member of the Democratic Party. He was elected as a Democrat to the Indiana General Assembly in 1884. After working with several smaller unions, including the Brotherhood of Locomotive Firemen, Debs was instrumental in the founding of the American Railway Union Arrow, one of the nation's first industrial unions. After workers at the Pullman Palace Car Company organized a wildcat strike over pay, cuts in the summer of 1894, Debs signed many into the Arrow. He called a boycott of the Arrow against handling trains with Pullman cars, in what became the nationwide Pullman strike affecting most lines west of Detroit, and more than 250,000 workers in 27 states. To keep the mail running, President Grover Cleveland used the United States Army to break the strike. As a leader of the ERU, Debs was convicted of federal charges for defying a court injunction against the strike, and served six months in prison. In jail. Debs read various works of socialist theory, and emerged six months later as a committed adherent of the international socialist movement. Debs was a founding member of the Social Democracy of America 1897, the Social Democratic Party of America 1898, and the Socialist Party of America 1901. Debs ran as a socialist candidate for President of the United States five times, including 1900 earning 0.63% of the popular vote, 1904, 2.98%, 1908, 2.83%, 1912, 5.99%, and 1923.41%, the last time from a prison cell. He was also a candidate for United States Congress from his native, state Indiana in 1916. Debs was noted for his oratory, and his speech denouncing American participation in World War I led to his second arrest in 1918. He was convicted under the Sedition Act of 1918, and sentenced to a term of 10 years. President Warren G. Harding commuted his sentence in December 1921. Debs died in 1926, not long after being admitted to a sanatorium due to cardiovascular problems that developed during his time in prison. He has since been cited as the inspiration for numerous politicians 